Hi there, welcome to the Vitality for Life Health Bite. I'm Rick, the company nutritionist, and I'm here to tell you some um, really good things about our Oscar 900. This is actually called the Living Food Kitchen. It's a cold press juicer, and for those people who don't understand about cold pressing, hopefully in the next few minutes, I'll teach you a few things. For those of you who already know, well, you can tune out for a bit and tune back in once I start making the juices. But what it is essentially, a cold pressed juicer, you, it keeps the food fresher in terms of enzymes and vitamins up to about 40, 48 hours, maybe 72 hours after you make your juicer, you, your juice, sorry. You'll hear also uh, that the machine's very quiet. What it is, it's using the old mortar and pestle action, like the old chefs used to use, and I'm certainly not a chef, but uh, I can juice, so luckily I'm in the right place. Um, so why we're calling it that living, living food kitchen is because it does other things than juice. It also makes uh, nut butters, it makes soups, it makes pasta, it makes breadsticks, it makes frozen desserts, it makes baby food, it makes, well, it sounds like it makes everything. I had to watch my language there, but it makes an awful lot of, uh, awful lot of kitchen, good kitchen food, healthy food. So what I'm gonna do first of all, it comes, oh, before I start, it comes with a 20 year motor warranty and five years on the parts and labor. Been around for a long time in Australia with Vitality for Life, so we're really, um, proud of the machine and we're sure of the machine's quality. That's why we're able to offer such a good, um, such a long warranty. So I'm going to start with a very simple juice and I'm going to do some spinach, uh, carrot, apple and celery. And the reason I've chosen this is because a lot of juicers can't juice leaves like wheatgrass or barley grass or your, your salads from the fridge, whereas this one can. Also celery can be a bit hard with a, a centrifugal juicer because it's, um, it gets all stringy and can sort of kind of make it really difficult to clean. You'll notice how easy this is to clean because that's often somebody's first question. Uh, once, I, once I put it through, we'll show it to you and we'll show you how, how good the juice is. Pity you can't uh, smell it or see it or, or really taste it. You can certainly see it, but uh, you can't smell it, unfortunately, because from cold pressing juicer, it smells terrific. All right, let's get going. I'm going to start, just, you don't need to put a lot of effort with the machine, it kind of just takes them through. The pulp comes out one end and the juice out the other out of the juicing screen. And you can see how much juice I'm getting out of a really simple uh, one stick of celery. If I put through the carrot, you notice I haven't bothered to chop that up into small pieces. And I'm, I'm just gently guiding that down. The machine's so powerful that it almost does the work without me having to do anything. And also this pulp that's coming out is quite dry. Now it's come out all over the kitchen bench, so don't move your pulp bowl while you're uh, trying to demonstrate is a motto for that one. So I'm putting in a few of the, a few of the carrots. And a good thing nutritionally with the carrots is it lowers the GI of a fruit juice. So if you're into a lot of fruit juices and you're on a weight management or sort of some sort of healthy eating plan, you might like to throw some carrots into your juice. And while we're on that point, you might like to also throw a vegetable that you don't like in with a juice like you do like apple. You probably won't taste it and you'll be surprised. Also a great way to get those juices into kids. So I'm doing now the, the apple obviously. And um, I'm really looking forward to drinking this juice, actually. It's uh, so yummy and already I can smell that, which is uh, really, really delicious. So I'm gonna put in the uh, spinach leaves now. A lot of people uh, do wheatgrass and um, barley grass. It can be quite expensive. Spinach is a, a superfood with a really high antioxidant uh, ORAC score. And you can get them really cheaply, so often you don't need to worry about the wheatgrass. Just go with your good English spinach. You've got very good spinach in the UK, and it, it, it is wonderful to add into any juice. You go to a juice shop, and you might pay a lot of money for that, and you'll see how easy this machine is, is handling it. Um, if I put a few more leaves in there, you'll, you'll see that. So, almost done with my, with my juice. And um, that's my first demo that I want to show you. 
if you take a look at this one, you can see that the juice hasn't separated. On a lot of the uh, machines that make a lot of noise and are centrifugal and, and heat up your juice by pulverizing it and breaking all the chemical constituents down, you often get the froth at the top. Whereas with this juice, you get a really lovely even spread of all those nutrients and vitamins and more importantly, the enzymes are still alive. I made some juices earlier uh, where I made the, the, a berry based juice and you can see that hasn't separated either. I've done a, a mango and uh, orange juice also still in its, uh, in its great uh, uh, form without all that uh, froth at the top and then a strawberry, banana and apple. So really do as many things as you can with the Oscar and this one's really lovely. I'm going to have to drink some of it and hopefully not end up with a green moustache. But it's just, um, just divine and I have to watch myself because usually when I do these shows I tend to gulp the whole glass like I'm gulping, gulping some vodka or something which isn't a, isn't a good look. But the, the, more importantly than just the fruit juice um, and I should show you you, you get a, an instruction manual here that's got lots of really good recipes in it. So you don't need to worry about what to, to do if you're new to juicing. You can just follow the recipes in this book or go to our website. There's also lots of juicing websites out there with really interesting tips on how to make things. You know, Hollywood dieters, the A-listers are really into juicing. There's a big raw food movement in Hollywood. They keep their bodies often in, in shape by making raw food part of their diet. And this is a really good way to do it. Really good way to start your day. Really good way to have breakfast. Don't skip breakfast. This is a wonderful, wonderful way to get your nutrients in in the morning. If you are a person who's skipping breakfast, I really encourage you to stop doing that because what you're doing, your body's turn, um, learning to gain weight throughout the day rather than lose it. But you get this lovely booklet. And you also get uh, the ability with this machine to make, I'm going to show you a few of these other things that I did earlier, almost threw the tomato over the machine, which wouldn't have been a good look either. Uh, you can do soups. You can do guacamole, which is really, really yummy and fresh. And again, cold pressed, nothing's heated up. You can do salsa. You can do uh, hummus as well. It all, they all go through the machine. You also can do some uh, nut balls. Um, we call them bliss balls because what they are is fruit and nuts. You put them together, put them through the machine. They're wonderful snacks mid-morning and mid-afternoon to keep your weight level. They're also wonderful for the kids. Really healthy. You pop them in their lunch boxes and they're finally getting something you know, delicious to eat at, uh, at school or at home. And you, you've got to be careful though. First time I made them, I ate the whole plate, which sort of de de defeats the purpose of a make weight management um, program if you're going to eat the whole um, plate full. But the, the machine has abil the ability to do that because you can change the screen. You get two different screens. This was a juicing screen that I was using earlier and you get the what we call the mincing screen. And the mincing screen is the one that you use for the frozen desserts, the, the soups, the pasta, uh, the guacamole, the hummus. I'm just going to show you how that works by taking um, this off and you just change your uh, drum cap end, pull this out, give this a rinse under the tap and then you're ready to go again. I'm not going to bother to clean this just for the, the, the speed purposes, but you just change your, um, your drum, you, sorry, your screen that you're using, put your drum cap back on and then you're ready to make uh, your different uh, foods. So I'm going to do, I've changed the screen and now I'm going to do the nut butter or you could do nut butter or bliss balls. Actually what I'll do is I'll do bliss balls. For the nut butter all you would do is just use nuts. What I'm doing with the bliss balls is I'm going to put through the the nuts and the almonds together. So if you, obviously if you want to make a fruit strip for the kids just put uh, through some dried fruit. You can lay them out, you can dry them, you can make biscuits, you can make cookies you can put them in muffins, you know, the machine's able to do so many things. Or you can make them into the little bliss balls. Now, it really is so simple. You, you'll see that the machine does it itself. All I've got to do is put the stuff through and coming out the end, which doesn't look really appetising, but actually is, 
is the dried um, fruit and nuts all mashed up again gently because it's cold pressed and the a really good thing to do with this is to put a, a banana through as well and then it gets a little bit more moisture and you're getting some more fruit content, uh, content in there for the, for the children. I won't put one of them in today because of uh, time constraints but what you do, all you need to do then is grab some um, coconut, throw that in with them and then you just literally take out the, the uh, what, what was the area that the fibre was coming, the pulp was coming out when we had the other screen on. Take the, the, a bit of the um, mashed nuts and fruit out, try and make a ball probably a better shape than my one but uh, you can then just dip it in the, in the coconut and you've got a little bliss ball uh, that's ideal for, for, for the children or for you for a, for a really healthy little snack, high protein, healthy snack. Rather than buying a, um, a chocolate bar or snacking on biscuits, this gives you the, the opportunity to control your diet, to really be able to choose what you put into your own body at home. If I go now to the frozen desserts, which is one of my one of the yummiest things that this machine does. Now remember, it does fruit juice, it does uh, pasta, nut butters, it does um, soup, baby food, all of these things from a juicer, and all of these things cold pressed. So you don't need to heat the food up. You're not losing the enzymes. You're not losing the vitamins. So what we've got is all you do is you freeze your fruit. You don't need to necessarily freeze it, you can buy it already frozen from the supermarket. Frozen berries are high, high, very nutritious. So let's pop this in and it really is again that easy. Just give it a bit of a, a push and you'll see that the machine wants to take it. I'm going to give it a bit of a hand with the pusher. What you've got inside there is a very gentle auger that's only moving about 80 revs per minute. Uh, it's got a silicon seal on it. Very, very strong but because it's, it's slow um, moving, it's retaining all the enzymes and you'll see out the back here this is just fantastic for kids to have their um, their desserts or for you if you're making a, a dessert and you just need to guide that down and then mix that up. Brilliant, brilliant, lovely sensational frozen dessert that doesn't take any time at all. What you do, uh, you can do with the machine also, is you can make pasta with it by just attaching the pasta novel onto the end, which I'll show you in a, in a second. Let me just get that, get that through. And what I've got there is a really, really yummy, doesn't look that yummy till I mush it up, but a lovely, frozen dessert that you then spend some time on mixing up, probably not making as much mess as I am on the plate, um, but then you've got like a, 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 an ice cream, a, a frozen sorbet uh, ice cream, no sugar, no additives, no preservatives, no milk, obviously no dairy, nothing that's nasty, just all, all, the, all the nicest things. From the Oscar you're getting a cold pressing machine does everything, juices, pasta, breadsticks, baby food, jams, anything at all that you can think of, this machine can do it. 20 year warranty, cold pressing, preserving the enzymes and fruit. But thank you and uh, please join us again to hear, out, hear more information on some of our other Vitality for Life products. Thanks, bye bye.